uh, today I'm going to be doing the video or the image editing video for the pattern makers group um, to use this program I cannot stress this enough you need to have basic computer skills on your computer I'm using a PC I know some of you prefer to use um, like Chromebooks some of you prefer to use any other type of tablet um, I prefer to make my patterns on my PC and print them I am a pattern printer um, but um, I do all of my editing pretty much either on my phone or on my PC I do prefer to do it on my PC because it is a it's easier for me to see and visualize it um, now I just downloaded this online I just I did a quick search for um, dog I think it was uh, clip art black and white and it was one of the first ones that came up so I just downloaded it um, and to do that I did save image as and just saved it um, now this image is a PNG file that will not work in the pattern maker but we are going to edit this image anyway and we will save it as a different format um, if you do not know how to save files and photos as a different format um, please go to your local community center take a computer class one day um, and it it will really open your horizons um, so what we're going to do first, we're going to right click on this and go to edit with paint 3D. And we're going to open. Here's our image. Now, the, the problem with this image is, number one, it's in the wrong format. We already went over that. We'll get to that at the very end. Um, this image, the lines are a bit thin uh, for the pattern maker, so we're going to show you how to change that and there is not enough white at the top and bottom of my image um, that will lead to small cuts I won't be able to um, it'll basically leave me with zero measurements here it'll be my first cut will be 0, 0.0 and we don't want that so we're going to go to canvas and you'll see over here resize canvas I'm going to change it from 239 to um i'm going to go to 275 uh and see oh just opens it up a little bit uh, you can also drag if you prefer see there we go um now that we have that settled and shown how to uh do that i'm actually gonna cut that white down a little bit um, now that that is done we're gonna come back over here to brushes go to our fill tool make sure our color is black because our image is black we're gonna zoom in a little bit which is just your scroll wheel and we're just gonna click on this line and you'll see the lines get thicker it is as simple as that guys I mean I, I seriously cannot make this any easier for you and sometimes it may take a little bit um, for this program to realize you want to do the whole line and not just tiny tiny pixels um, and if that is the case I mean you can go through and you can see I'm just going along the line clicking And you'll see my image just keeps the lines just keep getting thicker and darker and that's what you want in a cut and fold pattern um, for measure mark fold patterns what you want in a measure mark fold pattern is going to be hugely different it's going to be solid objects um, objects with not a lot of detail um, and words like single words like names um, sometimes you can even do dates it just depends on how many pages I click the background we don't want to do that there is an undo button fixes all your mistakes um, 
And if in the end I went to my marker because this line was not thickening up the way I wanted it to, I'm just going to go through, follow that, boom. It's not going to be perfect, but that's why there's an eraser tool. You can change the thickness, which I'm going to do for this because that's a tiny, tiny line. And I never claim to be perfect with this, guys. I am not a good drawer. Another thing. Um, you may want to just take small strokes and lift your mouse or let go of your mouse button often because if you do have to go back and fix a mistake, uh, you don't want to have to redo your last 10 minutes worth of editing work um, just because you had to click the undo button. And normally I will actually go over a bit and then go back in with my eraser and um, clean up the lines just because it's easier for me that way I'm not too terribly worried about mistakes and sometimes you know you may make a mistake and find you like it that way and all I'm doing to make the image bigger and, and smaller is I'm scrolling in and out with my mouse wheel okay again not perfect so get our eraser well, that's a really big eraser. We're going to take the thickness down a little bit. And we're just going to go in and kind of clean up that line. Again. Never claim to be perfect at this. And this is why if you do request a custom pattern, it can take a while. Because of all of the editing that goes into these photos. And how much time just the photo editing can take. I have spent hours on photos editing them before just to get them to that perfect image that I wanted to make. So, yeah. He's a little chunky there. And a little chunky over there, but it'll be okay. Okay, now that we have our image saved, looks good enough to me. Uh, basically, I just wanted to make the lines thicker so there weren't tiny measurements. We're going to go to Menu, Save As. You're going to save it as an image. And right here, Save Type As JPEG. Save, Close Out, Don't Save. Oh, wait. Here is our new image, and you notice same same image, but this one's a JPEG file instead of our original PNG file. This JPEG file will work with the pattern maker, and it took me all of five minutes to edit and save it in a different format. Um, another thing I wanted to go over: um, this was actually an a image and a pattern I have done as a measure mark fold pattern. Um, this is a photo of a tattoo. So to change this, I went to my fill tool, white for the background. So we're going to go in, we're going to just fill in all of the spaces with white. And again, this is not a perfect science. Um, it's not going to come out absolutely perfect the first time. You'll have to go in and do some, some quick edits. Um, and then I'm going to switch to black and fill in the outline. And then I will take my marker and go along the edge and just color in. Um, once I've done that, oh, that was bad. I'm just going to redo that one. Color in up there. Okay. Okay. Now we go back to our fill tool and white, and we can go 
right here, right here. Basically, any of these spots you missed. Um, if you get to one spot that you just like really can't get, um, there's always the option of going to the eraser tool. But just like that, I mean, I will go in and erase that. But um, just like that, I have an image ready for the pattern maker. Again, it took me all of five minutes, but there are some patterns that I've spent, again, five hours editing just to get to the pattern I wanted. Um, and again, we're going to go to menu, save as, image, JPEG image, save. And I already had this saved, but there we go. And don't save. Okay, we got it here. JPEG image ready to go in the pattern maker.